Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. Here I have my second Doki Doki crate for May 2017. Um, as you guys recently saw, I only just recently got the April Doki Doki crate because that just took so long to ship. But May crate shipped pretty fast and actually got here like about a week after the April one did. I just kind of took a few extra days to open it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That gives me a little bit more confidence in the crate um, seeing that I had a slightly better experience with this box than I did with the last one. So I'm okay with that. Um, as you can see though, this one, May's Crate, was filled with a ton of tape. I actually cut it ahead of time just so it make it easier for me to open it because it just was completely covered in tape. And when it closed, you can kind of see why. I won't show you the top of the box because it has my address on it. However, you can see with the lump here that there's a big item in this little box that's kind of puffing it up. And so, of course, they had to tape it all down and keep it all in. So, yeah, yeah, that's why the flap won't stay closed. So, yeah, guys, let's get into it. Now, besides the box being puffed up and taped up, this is the standard Doki Doki by Japan crate uh, pink and white box, which I love because you guys know I love pink. Um, on this side has a japancrate.com where you can get your own Doki Doki crate and on this side where you can follow them. Now, like I said, I would show you what's on top, but it's just you know um, the label and what my address and everything so I'll leave that secret for now now like I said this is May 2017's box I can't quite remember um, the exact what the exact theme is for the month I believe it has to do with like animals or something like that and lifting up the front flap yeah you can see here where in the background you have like pictures of little animals all around looks like a little raccoon which I love right here so I'm quite curious as to what is in here uh, okay, so yeah guys, I'm going to move this to the side and we'll get into it. Okay guys, as for this month's booklet in the box, as we can see, it's a cute little pink and green cover. I guess to match the spring season. There it is, May 2017 up top, and I believe this is crate number 18. I really like how they keep them numbered. Down here, just a regular Doki Doki by Japan crate uh, symbol. Now, flipping this over, it tells us that this month's theme is Kawaii Critters. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I knew it has something to do with uh, animals, which I really like. So, can't wait to see what items is in here. I won't flip through the booklet because I don't want to spoil anything. But, uh, like I said, really cute cover. And I love how they open it from left to right, like a typical Japanese booklet. So, pretty cute. Oh, on the back, look at this. I love the animal faces. Okay, guys, and so first item out of the box, and I kind of needed the booklet to help me pronounce this one. And it, are, it is this Higemanju Gamaguchi coin purse, which is of this really cute black cat character from the company Amuse. Right here, you see the tag? Really cute. I love this cat's expression, and I love the fluffy fur feeling of it. Isn't really fluffy, really cute. You can see here. The top for the coin purse. Oh, I thought it was stuffed with something. No, just the whole thing is just so fat and fluffy. So really cute coin purse. I really like this. The only thing why I don't quite, um, not so, so happy about it is that we only just got a real Akuma coin purse in like the last crate just last month. So I don't think I need two of them in one shot, but this one is really cute. I do love it. It feels like a pillow guys. It's so fluffy. I mean, it's so pretty small, like a typical coin purse about the size of my hand, palm of my hand. Um, but just so fluffy. Look at this. And I love the expression on the cat's face. Really cute guys. Aww. So fluffy guys. I wish you guys can feel how soft this is. It feels like a plush. Just so cute. Okay, guys, next item out of the box, and we have this Petit Lapin Eclair plush. Now, Petit Lapin is supposed to be like this bunny rabbit who loves French culture, and uh, it's a plush that they've I've seen them put in other Doki Doki crates. So it's really cute. Um, in this one, he's in the shape of a, in a, a chocolate eclair, so even cuter. But you guys know I'm not a huge fan of plushes right now. Like, I mean, they're, I love them, but at the same time, I just don't have any need or space for them. But this one is really cute. I love how he looks like he's actually more in a sandwich than an eclair. But yeah, Petit Lapin. Like I said, I'm familiar with this character and I'm familiar with, they've put them in other boxes before. So yeah, really cute. Okay, guys, and next item we have this. French beret with antlers on it. 
that's pretty odd guys I have to say okay here's a picture of a deer with a beret on his head so I guess that's the, the idea behind it kind of cute I mean I don't know when I will wear a pink beret out somewhere especially one with little antlers on top but I guess it's a different idea Kinda cute. The next item is one that's something really simple but one I love the most so far and it is these Agritsuko stickers. Now, um, this was one of the reasons why I wanted to get the crate this month. Not that I knew it was stickers, but um, they did mention it was going to have something Agritsuko in the box. Now, Agritsuko is one of Sanrio's newest characters. She's like a um, like a career woman, like an office worker, who to take out her aggressions that she keep, keeps bottled up during the day. At night, she, after work, she goes out drinking and goes, I guess, to karaoke and sings like death metal or something like that. So I find that hilarious where she's like, during the day, she's like kind of calm and quiet, but in her head, she's like raging at the machine kind of a thing. So yeah, since she's pretty new, not too many items of hers is available. So anything of this character, I can try out I would love that as you can see Agritsuko is a red panda which is I also love they're so cute guys they are little and so furry so cute um so yeah this is a character I would like way more items of it's a little bit hard for you guys to see the stickers because they're so tiny about the size less than my thumbnail but you see this bottom row she's all aggressive and yelling kind of with the metal phase um here she's like the calm office worker, more yelling, more calm, just different ones like that. So pretty, pretty cute stickers, guys. We'll love more items from this character. Oh, okay, and the next item we have is this month's Hopi Chan. Now here she is, guys. Um, as I mentioned, Hopi Chan is like this Japanese like mascot little character that you know they love over there. And Doki Doki includes a different one in every crate every month. Um, which I think is just adorable. She's like a teardrop shape in different sizes. Here it is. This is a pink one with a yellow bow. And as you can see, she's riding on top of a little fish. This one actually appears to be like a cell phone charm, so even cuter. Um, the fish is to represent that May is uh, May 5th, I believe, was Children's Day in Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong if I had the date wrong. Um, it was Children's Day, and so this is kind of like a symbol of that. Hence her so little in pink riding on a fish a little festival day that they celebrate there so I think this is really cute it's not my favorite compared to like last month's or like a few others I've seen online but really cute and different I love the fish but kind of reminds me of like those fish uh kites kind of a thing so yeah pretty cute okay guys last item out of the box and this was the biggest one kind of puffing the box up and it is this Sumiko Garashi um, shampoo bottle. So this empty shampoo bottle. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sumiko Garashi. They're kind of like one of like a group of these little characters. I think they're from like the South Pole or North Pole or something like that. This is the cat character. I don't know quite which one this is, but I do love Sumiko Garashi. I just can't remember all of their names. But uh, this one is really cute. I like this bottle. It's a decent size too. Can't even fit my whole hand around it. Love the cute little nose on this one. And I have a ton of products I can actually use this with. So I love when products are useful. I love that. Like not only are they cute, but they serve a purpose. Is my favorite thing. So yeah, you can see it around the back like this. Cute and yellow. Like I said, not quite sure the name of this character um, because the only one they show in the booklet is either the penguin or they show you could have also gotten a Doraemon uh, shampoo bottle. Um, they didn't mention this character at all. So yeah, I can't remember his name, but it's so cute, isn't it? And like I said, I love, love, love when a product is both cute and useful. Like I hate to have like wasteful items and I keep buying stuff that's cute and it sits around. But if it serves another purpose, those are my favorite. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, guys, now my final thoughts on this crate. I love the shampoo bottle and I love these stickers. The coin purse is cute because it's fluffy. Uh, everything else I'm only so-so with. Um, like I said, um... I've seen videos of other Doki Doki crates which I love or don't love. It goes back and forth. Um, I'm okay with this one and was okay with last month's. Um, so far I'm not in the feeling of where this is like a crate I can 
want to continue for too long i do want to give it another shot for june's crate i'm thinking um because i know that they're they've gotten a bunch of suggestions where people you know were requesting different things and they're deciding to kind of revamp the box again uh, and i kind of want to give them a chance and see how what kind of changes they make if that makes sense and then decide whether i want to continue from there so i may just do that and stay with june's box um, so stay tuned for that guys. We shall see if I decide to go for that or if I decide to just cancel outright. But like I said, I do love the shampoo bottle a lot and I do love these stickers. Um, because as since Agrisuko or Aggressive Rasuko, since she's still a newer character, like I said, I'm not a lot of items of hers is out yet so anything I can get I'm really excited about so those two things I really love uh this beret I don't know what I'm gonna do with a beret you know what I'm saying um and a plush yeah I'm not big on plushies the Hopi Chan is cute yeah and this is so fluffy I yeah even though we just got another uh coin purse last month this one guys if you feel how fluffy this thing is and how soft so cute so yeah guys that's it for now let me know what you think of this down in the comments below and i'll see you guys possibly for the next one so that's it thanks for watching bye